Hey, what's going on, Eternal Fitness followers? Uh, appreciate you guys coming back. It's been a few weeks, but I've been really busy working and been out of town on the weekends, and I just want to give you a little update. Uh, and I got a question on Facebook that I want to answer as well, along with my update. So my update is I'm doing a body transformation contest. It's called Strong to the Core, and it's uh, pro I guess it's sponsored by Cellucor on on bodybuilding.com. Now it's not a bodybuilding co like contest. It's more just a body transformation. From the first week they t they you have your picture taken and you post it to the sixth week. At the very end of the sixth week, whenever you post that picture, uh, they judge on that transformation. So pretty much they want uh, you know whatever you have your fat level to go down and your muscles to be looking better by the end it doesn't have to be uh, you don't have to be a bodybuilder per se to get to be the winner of this competition but uh, while I'm explaining what I'm doing in this competition I'm gonna answer this question somebody asked me how am I dropping my body fat how am I losing weight how am I uh, cutting the fat from my body which is a good question obviously that's my goal for this whole thing so let me just tell you what I'm doing I started the contest and the first week and a half about because I started about a half week early with my picture and the first week and a half actually two and a half weeks I did 150 grams of carbs now I'm an endomorph if you know if you looked at my other video to find out what body type you are um, you'll know what your carbs need to start at pretty much to try to gauge that as well if not, go check it out. Check out if you're an ectomorph, endomorph, or mesomorph. And I believe I tell you on there a good range to start out for your carbs, fats, and protein. Now, protein is about the same for everybody. You want to do your body weight and protein. And then what I did at first was 60 grams of fat and 150 grams of carbs. Now, that worked really well for me for the first two weeks because I actually hadn't been lifting weights that long. Uh, I was actually out for two months not lifting weights, if anybody recalls from my other videos. But I started at 150 grams of carbs to have the energy and build a little muscle to start a base for the first two weeks. Now, I lost about two pounds in the first two weeks, so my diet was super clean. I was definitely always at a caloric deficit, so I would say that I gained a little bit of muscle and maybe dropped two, probably dropped three or four pounds of fat. Probably just three pounds of fat and maybe just gained a little muscle because I only dropped a pound and a half total body weight. Um, now, after that, I wanted to drop more fat faster. So I dropped, cut my carbs in half to 75 grams. Now, I felt I had a lot of energy during the day. I cut the bread out. All I had was potatoes or beans or whatever. I felt great through the day. was never de-energized. I could always get through my workouts and my cardio and perfectly fine and I actually lost about three pounds it was about 170 yeah 170 171 after that week so that's a good fat loss you can only lose probably about a pound and a half two pounds maximum a week in actual body fat so that was good and actually the week after that which was last week I cut it down to 25 to 50 grams of carbs and the reason I say that is because I tried 25 and if that wasn't enough then I would bump it up a little bit, have a little bit of carbs somewhere in the day to give me a little more energy so I can get through my workouts. Now remember I work out at 6 a.m. in the morning so I can gauge all throughout the day uh, how much carbs I need so it makes it really easy for me. And um, mostly I had 25 grams on my cardio days and 50 to 60 grams of carbs on my weightlifting days and 25 grams maybe even lower if I had an off day and I think uh, yeah at the end of February I weighed 197 if anybody saw my pictures and actually this weekend I weighed again and took my my updates for the mid uh, I guess the home stretch you say of the competition there's three weeks left and I weigh 167 so from the end of February I've lost 30 pounds which is awesome probably seven to nine uh, percent body fat been lost since then too hopefully I'll get another two to three percent lost by the time I finish with this competition uh, this next week I'm going to go for the 25 to 50 grams of carbs again I'm gonna push the 25 grams more 
and maybe go up to only to 30 to 35 if I need it and I'll probably be a little depleted of energy but that's okay because it's on the home stretch and it's really a quick race six weeks so I'm gonna have to do that after this week I'll probably do the same thing if I'm at least if I get down to 165 by the end of this week then I'll probably do the same thing if I go under 165 then that means I probably lost a little muscle and I'll probably go back to the 50 grams of carbs like I did this past week and hope that I lose just one and a half pounds to two pounds and the last week to week and a half I'm gonna almost deplete my carbs out and I'm gonna drop a lot of weight probably almost five pounds in that last week and a half but it's okay I'll, a lot of fat will come with that and it'll be good for the transformation and then <coughs> the last day before I'll actually do a carb load where I'll go back up to 150 to 200 grams depending on how I look that day uh, but I'll shoot for low end 150 and I'll just kind of sip on water throughout the day I won't have that much water right now I get a gallon and a half almost of water a day and then I might only drink a bottle of water bottle or two of water that day and then the final day I'll just sip on water and I'll get probably like 60 grams of protein and then I'll just have carbs throughout the day probably 150 grams of carbs until I get to the time that I take my pictures will probably be after work on August 2nd so you guys be on the lookout for that I have another video coming and I'm going to try to start getting videos up of my weightlifting and cardio that I'm doing uh, shout out to Matt Richardson I appreciate you uh, just coming and working out with me at 6 a.m. I know it's tough, but I appreciate the accountability and giving me somebody to work out with. And I really appreciate my wife, Jerrica Lindsay, uh, just for supporting me in everything I do and uh, helping me keep a smile on my face the whole time, even if I don't feel like I'm doing good, and just encouraging me every time I turn around the corner. I uh, appreciate all the Eternal Fitness followers, and like I said, hopefully more videos to come.